In today's video, we're gonna take a look at another mesh Wi-Fi system, this time by Rockspace. I'd like to thank them for sending this over to review today. This is a three pack that covers up to 6,000 square feet, normally $170 on Amazon, but right now it's on sale for $140, plus there's a $10 off coupon. So that's a really good price for a mesh Wi-Fi system. A lot of these can get pretty pricey, but chances are if you're watching this video, either one, you don't have a very good router, or two, you're just curious to see what else is out there. So in this video, I'm gonna find out, should you consider the new Rockspace mesh Wi-Fi system? This has 2.4 and 5 gigahertz, up to 867 megabits per second. This is a dual band system. They're advertising an easy setup and manage with their mobile app. It's a little confusing because on Amazon it says three mesh units cover up to 5,000 square feet, but on the box it says 6,000 square feet. Maybe they're just rounding up, I don't know. Now this also supports MU MIMO, where you can transfer data to multiple devices at the same rate simultaneously. This has one SSID with wireless roaming. That is if you have a compatible device. So let's go ahead and open it up and see what we've got. Okay, so these actually look pretty good with the fabric material there on top. So of course this comes with a user manual. Each mesh unit comes with its own power cable. Okay, I definitely like the look of this. So it does come with a flat ethernet cable. And then it comes with three different mesh nodes and the connections are right on the bottom. So you've got two different ethernet ports on the back. One goes from the mesh node and the other one you can plug another device in or you can connect it to another node. You've got a LAN port and then a WAN or LAN port, which is in the middle that's gonna go to your modem. Then you have a power jack and reset button. Overall, I really like the build quality on these. They definitely seem on par with some other mesh networks that I've tried. Let's go ahead and download the app and get these set up. Okay, so I had some technical issues with these routers. I think it's something to do with my internet provider. So I finally got one connected and I thought I would just show you the setup real quick. In order to set it up, you just go through the app. Once you connect to the Rockspace Wi-Fi, you open up the app and it'll walk you through step by step. Then you just create your own Wi-Fi name and password. We'll just call this Rockspace. Once you give it a Wi-Fi name and password, it should start reconnecting to your Wi-Fi network and then you just place the other two Rockspace mesh routers sort of evenly throughout your house. I'm going to put one in my office and in the kitchen. You can also create an account so that you can log in from anywhere. So it just took a little bit there to connect to the second node. I'll go ahead and connect the third one later once I start doing some more testing. You can also tell it which room the mesh is located in. You can turn the LED indicator light on or off, which you probably want to leave it on. It shows down here how many devices are connected. Right now it's just my phone. In the settings, you've got a lot of different stuff you can choose from, such as your Wi-Fi name and password. You can set up a guest network. You can even set when the validity period is. And you can choose between four hours, eight hours, or always valid. You've also got parental controls. You can adjust the connection type and internet settings. You've also got QoS, where you can prioritize between gaming or web browsing. You can add another Rockspace router. This does have fast roaming, where it's gonna connect to each mesh router as you move throughout your house. But it does say that if you have iOS 4.0, then yeah, you should probably disable this. You've also got capacity oriented mode. This enables the router to function with over 30 clients connected. You've also got smart assistant, port forwarding, universal plug and play, DHCP server, DNS, firmware upgrade, and maintenance schedule. So that's a quick look at the mobile app. I'm gonna go ahead and test these out for a couple days, come back and give you my final thoughts. So after testing the Rockspace mesh Wi-Fi system, for a little while, I was glad to see my download and upload speeds stayed pretty much right up there with my TP-Link Deco, maybe just a hair less. I was able to play on my Xbox One S with no problems, 
and it seemed to be that the pings were the same just to see how it compared to my TP Link Deco, and that was pretty much the same as well. It's typically right in that 30 to 50 range. Coverage for my home also seems very good. Although I have to admit, my house is a lot smaller than the 6,000 square feet that they advertise. So as long as you don't have multiple people using a VPN network at the same time, I think you would be fine with a system like this one. So whether you're looking to expand your network or you just want better coverage for your home, then I would definitely recommend the Rockspace Mesh Wi-Fi system, especially for the price. It's even on sale right now as of when making this video. So if you've made it this far into the video, you may wanna say thanks by subscribing and don't forget to give a thumbs up if this video was helpful. This is Brian from Fishbee Productions. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Mm-hmm.